Yeah, I asked the chairman um, last week, I did get in under the deadline, um, if we could at least discuss our policy toward um, regarding the Municipal Association. I am concerned uh, with the discussion we have, and the minutes aren't out yet on the 17th of September, but I did a quick review today. Um, I was a little concerned about the discussion at our last meeting because it seemed, and I, and I respect chairmen or whoever, it's not just you, it's someone sitting in the chair. Um, it, it seems um, undemocratic or something like that to not have uh, the budget committee, number one, and to not have each and every one of us um, as selectmen being uh, able to access the municipal association for guidance uh, when we feel that it's uh, proper. Um, at least, I may, and I may have misconstrued, but my understanding as I thought about it was that uh, the, the chairman, a chairman, I'm not picking on Rusty, a chairman uh, would be the only one to contact the NHMA if we have questions. And I don't think that is appropriate. Um, we are all independent elected officials. We work as a board, but I think um, we should, each of us, we're paying. Didn't 17, we have a policy on that? We, we no, did no, a no, 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 no. Policy. Let me, excuse well, me. Yes, it's a vote me. of the board. Wait, it was no. a vote of the board that we had a policy on yes. that, and that we agreed on the policy. I didn't vote on the policy. The vote you, board voted to make it when? that it's that way. When? We can do it right now if you want. We, no, we, it was last year, I think. That it was again okay. to reaffirm no, it. We did it again this year. We've done it before. That yeah, is, we yeah, have we, voted, Mary Louise, for that. I don't remember it, but well, I'm still bringing it up. We've done it, it year after I'm year. I'm still she bringing can, it she up. She has a right to bring it up. She's a board discussion. member, so. Do you want to make, we, a, why don't you make, a, make a motion, motion we, that we do it that way? Well, the re I want to explain to you why. Number one, uh, I think that uh, I am not happy as one member of this board to be told that I can't access the New Hampshire Municipal Association for guidance. We paid $17,904 in this year's budget for the guidance of the Municipal Association, and sometimes it's very helpful. In addition, the members of the Budget Committee, think about this a little bit. What's going to happen next month? We are going to turn over information to the Municipal Budget Committee, and they make the budget and they may not be terribly happy about being denied access to the Municipal Association if they have questions. That's what the Municipal well, that Association... Is threat that we don't I do think it, you should make that motion. Wait, 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 if you want hold to on, hold on. I don't hold interrupt on. you guys, Mary and Louise, I'm getting a little hold tired. On. Ahead. Hold on, please. Uh, Mary Louise, hold on a second. First what? of all, we get our legal opinions from our attorney. Yes. Our attorney, we do not get legal opinions from the NHMA. May our I? legal opinion comes from our attorney because that's who we pay for. We don't pay the NHMA for their legal opinion. So if, you have, if you're getting two legal opinions, which one are you supposed to go with? You're supposed to go well, with the one that you're paying for. Well, could I just is, say one no, thing real quick? Wait, wait, wait a minute oh. here. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> you... you brought up a good point, but why are we paying $17,000 to the Municipal Association if not for some guidance? It's not just Next, for guidance. Well, okay, then just stay, stay put for a minute. When I chaired the Budget Committee in 2016, and we had a problem because everybody got all excited over the RSA, 91A, etc. And I called uh, Attorney Buckley at the NHMA. Now, I have known Judy Silva and Attorney Buckley and a, a number of them up there for a long time. I have interacted with them in the past as a member of the Budget Committee. 
and he was very hostile and he had a real he had his back up and he didn't want to talk and he wasn't allowed to talk to me and all he could do was talk to the selectmen so I went to Mark and I complained and Mark did say he would call attorney Buckley and give him permission to talk to me or give me permission to talk to attorney Buckley or however it turned out so I called attorney Buckley back and he was very charming and I explained the problem I was having with the 91A situation and he said oh, I was no problem all you do is use BCC that wasn't necessarily a legal opinion but it was guidance and I said that's wonderful thank you very much I'll do that you told me I should do that so I'll do that starting right away but I came in and talked to Mark two days later and I explained that I had talked to uh, attorney Buckley and I said thank you for allowing me to talk to him and <laughs> and Mark said I don't agree wonderful and he's the opinion that we paid for and he has a very good reason for that well whatever we are paying this outfit I have never I go back to 1978 I understand right that. and I have never seen a board of selectmen or our budget committee or anybody else but it's mostly the board and the budget committee who want this information I've never seen an impediment to these these individuals these elected officials to going in and calling the NHMA what is because, the problem here because again we get our legal opinion but that's fine from our town attorney that's fine not and only if that they can be asking the selectman's representative she can bring it back correct. and we can deal with it and that we, way. and we have and that's also what this board has voted to do that's what this board had voted to do to allow if the if the budget committee has some questions they can bring it to regina and she can bring it to us and i dare say there probably will never be a reason to deny it right and i just want to say one thing because i know mary louise you just asked what is the point of pay what are the different reasons for paying the seventeen thousand? i think right. one great reason is what i just went to absolutely because we get a yeah. vote on that yeah. the Good town conference. of hampton gets a say yep. in that whole i mean there's a lot of things something i didn't even bring up about how they want to put in legislation that will support having the state take care of state-owned properties because guess what Hampton's yeah. not the only one yeah. that's going through things that are happening yeah. uh, happening or not happening on state property so being able to partner up with Portsmouth or Laconia yeah. whatever the towns were I mean that that's part I mean to me that's power that's communities working together to let the state know what they would like so the I budget think committee is part of this community I understand that and but they're elected the, officials this board has already market. decided on what to do so that's right. Because yep. if the budget committee gets sufficiently riled up, I don't know what the budget's going to look like next year. We can't. That, we all have. Well, that's not. We okay. all have no. Just let me. Like that. Number one, the NHMA puts out bulletins all the time. They also put on workshops all the time yeah. on right to know laws. So you don't have to talk to somebody up there. They they gave a workshop here prior to that on Correct. on the right to know law and everything. So mm -hmm. they, that's one of the reasons that we belong there. Like Regina said, you go and you're with other towns and you're coming up with legislative suggestions for, for doing that. That's another thing. And every organization has a chain of command mm -hmm. that we go through. And I think it's I think it's absolutely ridiculous for you to sit here and, and threaten that if we don't do something, the budget committee is going to look at the budget differently. The budget committee will look at the budget in an intelligent manner with what is needed in the town. And it's not going to depend upon how we allow them to talk to somebody. Well, there's there's many that things that are presented it's, it's, that they can attend if they'd it's like It's something to. that has never been done in the past. It yes, has it has. I hate to tell you, it's been voted on years. many, many I years. I don't remember the Well, uh, then you better. Uh, yeah. Anything else? It's been have, done over and, and over again. And I have again. one 